Hey, I'd like to say this too real quick. You got a woman that works for you is really incredible. You don't find too many people. I thought you were about to implicate her in the investigation. I'm just glad you're not implicating <laughs> Dusty in the investigation, show because I can't take that. <laughs> she, no, she's not in the investigation. Right, but right, what good. I want to do for her is, I want to, and look, hey, I got to do this for her, but I want to turn her on to, the, to this, 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 this clothing line called um, Girls Mondays to uh, Sunday. Girl Mondays to Sunday. And I'm definitely going to look out for her because I buy a lot, of, for a lot of people from that place. But look, what I was basically trying to say is this. I respect your show and respect what you're doing, but most important thing is is the, is um there's got to be a solution because this has been going on in the industry for a whole bunch of years for decades and at the same time you know nobody wants this to be true and it shouldn't have to be true but if we don't fix it and do something about mm -hmm. it history will constantly Repeat itself. itself. Now, Shug, you said something yeah, early on that I want to get clarification for the audience, Shug. You said early on, you can't just look at Diddy in isolation. You said this was done to him. He learned from others, and it was done to him, and then he did to others. To me, that sounds like what I hear when people are talking about abusive situations, you know, hurt people hurt people, that someone was sexually abused, they wind up being a perpetrator. Is that what you're suggesting? about Sean Combs, that he was sexually abused and he now sexually abuses? Yeah, I, I think that's absolutely right. I think he repeat what was done to him. And like I said, if you look at Russell Simmons, you know the truth. Andre Rail, you know the truth. Pride Davis, you know the truth. Jimmy Iovine, you know the truth. So there's not certain things that all of a sudden you got this the industry is a quick business. It's been like that for a long time. Mm. And the casting couch is real, but it's for women and men. But far from all that, I think the most important thing is to, I feel like they should let Puffy tell his truth. I'm quite sure he's going to expose a lot of people. I'm sure he's going to move forward with it. But I don't think it should be a situation like the Epstein thing where they found him hanging from the ceiling of dead for the truth to come out. Do you believe I think that, the truth need to be Do you believe that Diddy is in danger in prison and do you have advice for him based on what you just said? Well the first advice I have, I don't ever want to say he's in danger and neither should he say that. Because once he gets to the point where they feel he's gonna be suicidal to itself, harmful to itself. Once they put him on suicide watch, you had a right to nothing. No socks, no drawers, no T-shirt, no blanket, no sheets. You so naked in a cell as a crazy man. So he definitely don't want to do that. And, and the other advice I would tell him, you know, maybe he should get on the Jewish diet. Because the kosher meals is way better than the, the food somebody else is making for you. At least they're going to come hot. They're going to come sealed, and you got to be the one to open them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big JTV, man. Like, comment, subscribe, of course. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. We appreciate y'all. Well, I appreciate y'all for coming in and rocking with your boy, man. I appreciate y'all for spending any bit of time. Showing love to the content, man. But we got to talk about the actual content. And that is... <laughs> rivals. Rivals, you know. It's not friends turn to rivals or rivals turn to friends. It's rivals turn to cellmates or jailmates or prison buddies. Or may maybe, maybe Puff or the Diddler might like that. He might want to take that, take that. But... You know, if you're tired of, you know, people all in the videos dancing with the baby oil, come to death row. <laughs> okay, I'm making jokes. I'm being silly. I'm being, I'm being goofy. But the, the, this the story is not goofy, man. Everything that Suge Knight said at the beginning of the video that I just displayed there, while getting interviewed by Chris Cuomo, which is something I never thought I would say. Chris Cuomo from CNN, the biased, you know, journalist or broadcaster who helped his brother conceal evidence of, um, you know, 
governor having people, uh, old people catching the vid 19. <laughs> Anyways, who got fired from CNN? That dude, he's interviewing Suge Knight. Suge Knight, as y'all know, spending 30 plus years in jail for a murder that he did uh, about 10 years ago on the set of Straight Out of Compton, where he ran over a man and killed him. Yeah, he ran over a man and ended his life. So because of that, Suge Knight is spending 30 some years of his life in California prison. Keep in mind, Suge himself is in his late 50s, early 60s. He's probably going to die in jail. Let's just keep it real. You know what I mean? He's going to unalive in jail. It is what it is. But if Puff goes to trial and gets proven guilty of this RICO, federal RICO statute, that could be the same exact fate that he's fa- facing. Meaning that these bitter rivals in the 90s, you know what I mean? Who were, you know, managing and, and definitely promoting their major artists, Biggie Smalls with Bad Boy, you know what I mean? Tupac Shakur with Death Row and who died. His, their main artist died around the same time, less than 365 days from each other right who perpetuated one of the biggest rap not even one of the biggest literally the biggest the only thing that could rival them is this drake and kendrick beef which i personally think is not even over you know what i mean and hopefully it doesn't conclude like how this one concluded that is a 30 almost a 30 year beef you know what i mean between puffy and suge leading them ultimately to the same place you know, their main artists in a grave and them, them two at this point in a jail cell. They're both in the jail cell right now. One in California, one in New York, ironically. But what Suge said was just facts. He said that this is a culture, right? So this is what it is in hip hop culture. Hip hop culture is full of deviants, degenerates, sexual, you know, deprived people who are oftentimes in positions of power. So what he's saying is it's an overall culture. Diddy is, in a sense, at least what he's implying is that he's the tip of the iceberg. He got abused. So that's why he became an abuser himself. Suge was talking about people like Andre Harrell. Andre Harrell has passed away, but Andre Harrell was a mentor to Diddy. You know what I mean? They were part of a label, I think, Jive Records, which was uh, the launching pad for people like Mary J. Blige, the launching pad for Diddy as a manager slash A&R, launching pad for Al B. Shaw, launching pad for, you know, Kim Porter who was a secretary at that record record label company, Clive Owens, manager of Whitney Houston. You know what I mean? One of the oldest and most renowned, you know, label executives in the world. He worked with Michael Jackson. You know what I mean? He worked with all type of singers and artists in the 80s and 90s, man. All right. So what you understand, he mentioned all these people because they're all part of, yeah, I mentioned Jimmy Iovine, instrumental for Dr. Dre, instrumental for Eminem. He mentioned all these people because they're all part of it. They're all part of this sexual pay for play casting couch type thing. So does this absolve Diddy of any of the alleged crimes? No. Again, I want to say this is alleged because ain't none of, none of this been proved. All of this was just speculation. But would I be surprised if Diddy is a small fish in the big pond? I would not be surprised at all, man. I mean, this goes deep. No Diddy. (laughs) The rabbit hole goes deep. No Diddy. So what we're talking about here is, as crazy as it seems, maybe Suge Knight was (laughs) a good guy. (laughs) Maybe he wasn't as bad as the bad guys. My thing is, and how I look at it is, 
Man, take that, take that, take that. Let's see what happens. It's crazy to see Suge Knight in Big 2024 as the voice of reason in one of the most disgusting, deprived, and craziest stories in hip-hop history, man. Stay tuned. Stay locked in with me. I'm going to keep covering this, man. Super interesting things, interesting concepts, interesting news headlines, man. It makes you understand that a lot of these things are, are devilish, man. They're demonic, man. You just got to open your eyes and understand a lot of this ish is straight up demon demonic. It is what it is. Big JTV, I'm out, man.